Denver 7 Meet the Picks is sponsored by Ramos Law. If you've been injured, Dr. Ramos and his team are here to help. Hello, everyone. I'm Lionel Bienvenu. Welcome to Denver 7 special presentation of Broncos Draft 2019 Meet the Picks. And you may have met the Broncos six-round pick already if you've been to Boulder in the last couple of years. With the 187th overall pick, the Broncos moved up and snagged former CU bus receiver Jawan Winfrey. Big target, tremendous potential. That's why they grabbed him. Here's Denver 7 Broncos insider Troy Rank one-on-one with Jawan Winfrey. Jawan, what does it feel like putting on a buff un- or a Broncos uniform? Uh, does it set in now? The pinch me moment's over? Yeah, definitely. You know, it didn't feel real before I got here, but you know, <laughs> once I got here, walked into the facility, see my locker, you know, it felt amazing. And and the fact that this is just a winning program, I get to stay home, you know, it means everything to me. They saw you in that pro day and looked like Coach Z. Something clicked, right? Because they traded a couple of picks to move up to get you. Did you have a sense that day that maybe you caught their eye, or did you have a good feeling walking away from that? Definitely. You know, this, this whole off season, you know, I put my all into it because um, this whole season I, I played through injury, and this off season I was finally healthy. So you know, I just wanted to make sure I put my best self, my best self out, you know, on and off the field for the for these teams, for these scouts, and um, I definitely felt that I left a good impression with them. You know, uh, I wasn't sure I was going to become a Bronco, but, you know, when I got that call, man, it felt like everything. Because your talent, you don't have the, the stats, but it was because of uh, injury. So kind of take us through your journey. What, you went Maryland, Juco, and then Buff, and, and it looked like well, you, you had flashes, but you just your body betrayed you a few times. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, just learning how to take care of my body has been so big for me now because I, I've been through so much adversity. You know, starting off at University of Maryland, I was there, um, had some issues there. After one year, I, I decided uh, to transfer. So I went to a junior college in Colville, Kansas. Had a pretty successful year, a pretty good team there. Came to University of Colorado out of Kansas. And um, two weeks into camp, tore my ACL. You know, I was having a real good camp, real good bond with my brothers and the team. You know, I was, I was feeling the, that the year that we were going to, I was feeling the year that we were going to have. You know, right. that year they went 10 and 4, so right. I was feeling it. Tore my ACL, went down. That was real devastating for me. Um, but I just never stopped giving up. You know, I'll come back the next year. You know, um, you know, I wasn't starting, and you know, I, I was continue to be a good teammate, continue to be a good leader. You know, just continue to wait for my moment. You know, I got some moments down there later in the season, and just decided to keep building off that for the next season. Had a real good spring, and then boom, come camp, I pulled my hamstring. Oh man! Now I'm out three weeks. Then come to the season, I'm finally healthy again. Week two, I get a sprained ankle, so you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get a break. And you know, it was times where I asked God why, but you know. I've been through so much, learned through so much of this adversity that, you know, you can't question him. You know, everything happens for a reason. So I just continue to lean on him, and and now I'm here. So, you know, it it proves that he's real. You know, God's real, and he has your back. You know, as long as you you stay hopeful, as long as you work and you continue to give the praise to him, you know, it's going to show up. Winfrey and Lindsey, Buffs reunited at the UC Health Training Center. Hey, we got more with Juwan coming up right after this break. I'm a medical doctor and an attorney. If you've been injured in a car crash or at work, Dr. Ramos and his team are here to help you. Ramos Law, we can help. Philip Lindsay went through a situation where at the end of his career, he had slowed down a little bit just from the usage. And then he had said to me, like that off season, he got faster, he got stronger. Like he came into camp saying, I'm gonna win a job. How much do you think a guy like Philip, his story, maybe even his recommendation can help and kind of there can maybe some parallels in your story as you move forward? Um, man, that's a huge motivator for me, man. That's like a big brother for me. You know, we played together at Colorado for two years. So to see his success, see his hard work and be there right right by him and, and see his work translate to the NFL, you know, it means a lot for me and it proves that dreams are dreams are, you know, more than more than possible. You know, it's all about what you do when you get there. And, um, you know, it, it continues to make me work even harder. You know, we have the same agent and, you know, he's been with me throughout this whole process, Phil, you know, keeping me motivated, texting me how I'm doing, you know, making sure I'm on my stuff. So, you know, having a player like that, uh, a big brother like that, you know, it means a lot. And uh, I just want to continue to follow it in his footsteps, be the next, next to you great, you know, that's a, a Bronco, so. Yeah, I mean, they have a history of undrafted free agents making it. They have a history of late round picks making it, making a contribution. College football, they've said in recent years, doesn't always translate to the NFL because of the spread offense. Mm-hmm. You know, the Waffle House menus and the simple play goals. What has the transition been like for you as you get used to NFL playbook, NFL play calling? Uh, the transition has been pretty smooth for me. You know, um, I definitely have to get used to the, the tempo, you know, get in better shape and get, get used to things reacting on the fly. But um, in terms of the play style and, and the playbook, you know, I feel that 
you know, I've been able to translate. I've been to three playbooks in my career. Right. So University of Maryland, which was semi-pro style, then Coffeyville and Colorado, which were both spread, but I've been in both types, both right. types of styles, you know, and I have a good receiver coach back at home who, you know, keeps me up to date, keeps me, you know, in the right shape, keeps me in uh, exactly where I need to be with my footwork and, and my route. So, you know, I give praise to him, give praise to, you know, everybody supporting me, and I just want to continue getting better. What do you like doing off the field to get your mind away from football in those few moments you guys have yeah. to not to do just football? What do you like doing? Whether it's music, uh, golf, uh, hobby? I love tattoos. Yeah. I love getting tattoos. Um, you know, I used to play video games, but, you know, I'm, I actually just bought a PS4. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get back on that because get, get on a hobby, you know, when I'm not studying or not doing anything, you know, just kill some, kill some time with my friends. And uh, tattoos, definitely, you know, tattoos mean a lot to me. I get a lot of tattoos to represent the journeys that I've been through. And you know, it just helps motivate me. I look down, look at my arm, look at different paths that I've been taking, and you know, it just keeps me going. Do you have a favorite tattoo? That, what it represents? Um, the new one I just got. What's that? It's a kid. It's on my back. I just got this last week. Um, so it was a kid holding the football in the stadium with the with the uh, Denver logo in the background and uh, mountains in the back, and then above it, it says "Dare to Dream 187." which is, uh, I was 187 pick of the draft, and you know, it all started with the dream, so they're the dream, you know, that, that, that uh, tattoo means a lot to me. That's fantastic, symbolizes uh, your journey yeah. from, again, multiple schools, but you never gave up, now you're healthy, and again, you got a great shot to yes, make sir. this team and contribute early. We're joined here by uh, Broncos Jack Rick, Juwan Winfrey. Last thing, what are you looking forward most to training camp as we get closer into the summer? Where do you want, what is the key as you move into that segment of your career? Um, I just wanna get forward, get, uh, I'm looking forward to, Getting up with the pace, right. you know, being able to react quicker, being able to to create new bonds with the, my, my new teammates, you know, getting with these two quarter with the three quarterbacks, you know, that, that's here, and um, you know, just just create a continue to create an impact for myself. You know, I want to be able to help this team win in any way I can. So, you know, I just want to continue to learn from these mentors. You know, I'm, I'm excited to play with these receivers. You know, who've been in the NFL. We got a, a young core, and then we got a vet, Eman Sanders. You know, been in the NFL ten years, and that's a goal for me at least. You know, play at least ten, and you know, I want to pick his brains pick all the other receivers brains so you know I got a long way to go all right thanks Troy and Juwan Winfrey's got a built-in support staff right there at Dove Valley with Philip Nixon. well thanks for watching this edition of the Broncos draft special presentation meet the picks make sure to keep it tuned to Denver 7 on all platforms all the time for the latest on the Denver Broncos we'll see you later have a great day everybody Denver 7 Meet the Picks was sponsored by Ramos Law. If you've been injured, Dr. Ramos and his team are here to help.